Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be CC Cycle 2 and Week 21 Memory Work Ideas, Review Game, and At Home Ideas for the week. For math this week, we are learning the associative law, and so we sing that for the same tune of Do Lord, Oh Do Lord, Oh Do Remember Me for both addition and for multiplication. And so together, it sounds like this. The associative law for addition states, open parenthesis, A plus B close parenthesis plus C equals A plus open parenthesis B plus C close parenthesis. For multiplication, all we do is change it from plus to the word times for multiplication. And so it sounds like this. The associative law for multiplication states open parenthesis A times B close parenthesis times C equals A times open parenthesis B times C close parenthesis. And that is how we cover math. Uh, I definitely am pointing to these things on the board as I review them with the class or with my kiddos. And um, usually what we'll do is I have the pointer that we use every week in class and I will just let the kids take turns being the pointer to each of these things as we're singing the song. So as we sing parenthesis, they're pointing to the open parenthesis. As we sing A times B, they're pointing to the A and the B and so forth. And that's how we cover math. All right, for English, we are learning about a conjunction, and we sing this to the tune of Hole in My Bucket, and it sounds like this. A conjunction is a word used to connect words, phrases, or clauses together. A conjunction is a word used to connect words, phrases, or clauses together. That's how we do a conjunction. All right, for history, we are singing about the end of the Cold War. And so the tune that CC provides for this song is like a total 80s dance kind of vibe. And so we just add a few little motions in when we listen to the song and introduce it. Of course, read it through, have the kids repeat after you so that everybody becomes familiar with it. And then what we do is you can do um, dance movements. You could just dance it out, right, if you wanted to. But a few movements that we like to add in there are 19. We'll do the sign for 19. You could do the sign for 8 also when you want to do 80. You could do that, just those three numbers. Uh, then when we say British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, you could do an M for Margaret Thatcher. So just take your first three fingers and bring it down over your thumb for Margaret Thatcher. When we say that part, you can just move your hands like this. Then we get to American president. We'll do an R. You could do the sign for president if you want to dance that out. And American president, you could do that. And then when you say Ronald Reagan, we're going to do R's. So Ronald Reagan. We're just going to move it across our bodies a little bit as we dance just like we do the M. So Margaret Thatcher, Ronald Reagan. All right, so we have those two for that part of the song. Then we say Cold War, we're gonna do like this and this, just like we do in our timeline. So they work together to end the Cold War. So in the 1980s, and then where you say, ooh, when we do that part, we're just gonna kind of dance it, ooh, like that. Just get into the moves a little bit. As much fun as we make it is as much fun as the kids are going to have it. So if we make it exciting and move and get kind of fun with it, then they will be encouraged to do that too. So just kind of fill the beat. Ooh. And then um, when it says Margaret Thatcher, then it says Ronald Reagan. We're going to do M and R for those parts. Uh, then we're going to end the Cold War. And then we're going to lessen the government. And then when we say strengthen the conservative movement, we're going to do like this. Two strong arms. And then just kind of rock that out with the beat. All right. So in all, we're just doing the hand motions. We're just going to kind of dance it out a little bit more than usual this time to match the beat of the song. All right, for Latin, we are going back to our first conjugation endings in pluperfect tense. And so we bring out our ram again to remind us, our blue ram, to remind us that this is pluperfect tense. And the first sound in pluperfect tense is aram. 
And so that the ram is to remind us of that first song. So we will, uh, I'll probably draw a ram on the board or just post this up. And then we will pass this around or take turns holding this and presenting this as we sing out our blue perfect endings. And that's probably what we'll do. We'll just have somebody come up to the front of the class and it'll be their turn to hold the picture of the ram and demonstrate for the class. You could always pass the ram around or even bring in a little toy ram. Oh my gosh, so many, so many options. But that is how we cover Latin with a blue picture of a ram to remind us that it's Blue, perfect tense, and the first sound is a ram. For timeline, we have World War II, so we do WW2, and President, Franklin, F for Franklin, then D for D, and R for Roosevelt. So World War II and President, Franklin, D, Roosevelt. Then we have Stalin of the USSR and the Katyn Massacre. So we're going to do the sign that we've done in the past for first Stalin is our, the mustache. So Stalin of the USSR for the Cat Team Massacre. We're going to do the sign for kill. Um, and that is to put your hand like this and point under that. Because that was a time when uh, masses of people were killed. All right. The next one is the United Nations formed. And for that, we take our two first fingers and bring them together to show the sign for United. And we're just going to go like that for United Nations form. Then we have the Cold War, which is what we're singing about in our history song. So when we say Cold War, we just shiver like it's cold and we do the sign for war. Next, we have Gandhi and India's independence. So we're going to do a G, G for Gandhi, and then India's independence. So this is the sign for independence or freedom, right? Okay, and then we have the Jewish state. So the sign for Jewish is to grab your beard like you're a wise man. Okay, Jewish state established. So you're going to do the S for state and then do here and here for established. And then next we have Mao and the communist victory in China. So for that, we're going to do an M for Mao. Mao and the communists. Put up your hand again. That's the sign that we use for communists. Victory and China. China, we um, show move our hands as though we're touching the buttons on a Chinese coat. So button here, here, and down at our waist. And that is what we'll do for our timeline hand motions for this week. For Central America, we are learning about Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua. And we are going to sing this to the tune of Hey Macarena. All right. And so it sounds like this. We're going to go in the order as we see it on the map. So we'll say Central America, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras, Nicaragua. This is Central America. Aye. So one more time. Central America, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras, Nicaragua. This is Central America. And that is how we will cover our geography. And last but not least for memory work this week, we have what is the third law of thermodynamics? We're going to just sing it to a tune and maybe do a couple hand motions. We'll see. But the tune that we sing it to is the ants go marching and it sounds like this. What is the third law of thermodynamics? The third law of thermodynamics explains that it is impossible to reach the state of absolute zero temperature. And that is how we're going to cover the third law of thermodynamics. We're going to sing to that tune. And we'll probably do some motions if we, I feel like we need it at the time. Uh, obviously, you could put up your three for the third law of thermodynamics. And impossible. We could go like this. Just impossible to reach the state of zero temperature the first year through we kind of did that like we were using a thermometer and so we put our zero all the way down and so that is how we cover our science all right and for review this week we are going to play a fun game that gets the kids moving basically i'm going to take a die and uh, the kids before we roll the die will pick either this side of the room or the other side of the room 
once they get to their spot, we'll roll the die. If it's an odd number, then the group that's on the left side of the room will answer the question. If it's an even number, then the group that's on the right side of the room will answer the question. After we answer the question, the kids can stay where they are or choose to go to the other side of the room, and then we'll roll the die again. If it's an even number, this side, odd number, this side. But basically, they're just getting to change spots, move around a little bit, and answer the review questions as a team. I will pick the review questions at random based on what we have done so far for this quarter. And um, the only difference is that every time you roll the die, it'll determine which side of the room is going to answer the question. All right, so that's how we're going to cover review this week. And for some ideas for our geography this week on ideas of things to make, Central American foods that might be fun to try this week would be tamales or papusas, which are like stuffed tortillas that are fried. Um, ceviche might be kind of fun. We love ceviche in our house, but ceviche is probably more tied to Peru or originating there. That's kind of like the authentic, but it's also eaten in Central America as well. So those are just some fun ideas for eating. And then if you're doing devotions and indescribable this year, the one that you might want to look into that ties into our science this week is page 196, What Scientists Don't Know. And then also page 18, it's about cells and building blocks. And so that might be another really good one to check out for our indescribable devotions this week. And then you could read about where is the Eiffel Tower. We're doing uh, tower constructions this week. So studying and learning about the Eiffel Tower could be very interesting and applicable since it's related to our studies in Europe, but also um, building a tower. That would be a great thing to check out. And then if you're looking for a fun movie this week with your family on our movie list for cycle two, Apollo 13 is one that came up having to do with the third law of thermodynamics. So uh, that might be a fun suggestion for those of you with older kiddos who think that might be fitting for your family. And I think that is everything for this week. I hope that you guys have a fantastic week 21 and I look forward to seeing you again next week for week 22. Bye.